Hey guys, this is Jerry. So many of you have probably gone to school with at least one or two Chinese kids. And with some exceptions, they're usually really good at math. A very easy explanation for why that is, is if they came from China, so they immigrated from China, they started learning more complicated math at younger ages. That's one thing. Two is that maybe their parents gave them more pressure and told them you had to study harder. So they studied harder and their parents might have taught them more at a younger age. So the parent pressure and the learning certain complicated math at younger ages than their Western counterparts makes it seem like, oh, they're just naturally more intelligent at math. I'm going to tell you guys today, explain to you that the Chinese language is actually really, really good for math. And what I mean is Chinese makes it easier to do math in your head. This is probably something no one's ever told you. So I'm gonna explain this to you. Four main points. First very important point is that when you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, most number systems are base 10. Meaning that when I get to 10, I'm using a number that's already seen. So one to nine, they're different numbers. By 10, I go to the next digit and now it's one zero. So for example, if you're a base six, then one, two, three, four, five. And when you're at six, you shift to the next digit. So six would be one zero on a base six system. So why do I explain base 10 to you guys? If you think about English, Latin based languages, what you'll realize is they get to 10 and then there's an 11, there's a 12, there's a 13. What does 11 mean? What does 12 mean? Well, 11 means 10 plus one. 12 is 10 plus two. In Chinese, there is no 11. 11 is literally 10, 1, 十一. 12 is 10, 2, 十二. So from a young age, a kid learning how to count learns base 10 because he or she learns, oh, so 13 is 10, 3, 10 plus 3. Oh, 14 is 10 plus 4. That point is not completely evident to a Western kid who's learning 11, 12, you don't understand inherently that 11 is 10 plus one until someone explains it to you. But if you see 10 one in Chinese, you inherently know it means 10 plus one. So at a younger age, the Chinese system one makes you inherently understand what addition is and two makes you understand what base 10 is. So then you understand bigger numbers because you realize it's just you're repeating zero to nine and then you're going a digit more. The second part of the Chinese language that makes it so much easier to do math than Western counterparts is the fact that there are fewer words said when you do multiplication. In English, for example, four times eight equals 32. In Chinese, Si, ba, san, shi, er. I only said five words. The thing about the Chinese language is when you put a number next to another number, it is assumed you're multiplying it and you don't have to say equals. So for example, instead of three times five equals 15, I just say san, so three, wu, five, shi, wu, 15. I didn't have to say times or multiplied by. I didn't have to say equal. I just said three, five, 15. So at a younger age, when you're starting to learn multiplication, a Chinese kid learns it faster because he has to learn fewer words in the multiplication table. And through life, when you're trying to recall the different multiplication tables, you do it easier. You do it easier because there's fewer words to recall from your brain. In fact, I actually still do multiplication in my head because it's much easier to do it in Chinese because there's fewer steps. So base 10 gets understood at a younger age. Addition gets understood at a younger age. Multiplication is easier because of Chinese. When Chinese kids learn fractions, the way fractions are said in the Chinese language inherently 
makes them understandable. For example, three over four, translated literally, out of four things you have three. Basically, by saying the fraction in Chinese, I'm defining what it is, so I inherently understand what a fraction is. Let's say one over a hundred, so out of a hundred things, I'm taking one. So out of a hundred things, I have one thing. You see, it's inherent. Just by saying it the Chinese way, you understand what a fraction is. So I used to tutor, and half the problem with fractions was that kids didn't understand what they were. You'd waste two days explaining to kids exactly what fractions were, whereas in China, you just automatically understood it just by the way you said it. The fourth thing is something that I, because I came to America prior to learning big numbers, I, I don't even have this part of me anymore. English, and I don't know about other languages, but I know English goes by thousands. So a thousand times a thousand is a million. Your units repeat by thousands. So 10 million, 100 million, a thousand million is a billion. 10 billion, a hundred billion, a thousand billion is a trillion. So when you get on the big macro scale, numbers repeat after each thousand. Now Chinese goes by 10,000. So thousand in Chinese is qian. 10,000 is an extra unit that there's no equivalent in English. It's called wan. W-A-N, what? And Chinese numerical units in the macro scale repeat by one. So they repeat by 10,000. So a thousand one is still qian one. And then a one one is a yi. So that's the next unit. By repeating every 10,000 instead of every thousand, like the American units or the Western units, Students learning big numbers inherently learn to work at a bigger scale. Because instead of thinking million, they're thinking yi, which is 10,000 times 10,000 instead of a thousand times a thousand. Maybe that's why Chinese people just build big, you know? It could just be because their units are big. So let's say an architect, the emperor says, yo, um, Build me, what's the biggest you can build? And then he thinks of a big number. Hey, um, let's build you yi bai one. So that's a million. And to him, it's like nothing. So let's summarize what we went over today. One, by not having weird numbers like 11 that don't define themselves, or 12, or 13, instead of just shi yi, 10, 1, shi er, 10, 2, very young age, Learn what base 10 is and learn inherently what addition is. Number two, multiplication is inherently easier in the Chinese language because you have fewer things to say to get to your final number. So instead of saying this number times this number equals this number, all you have to say is number, number, the result. You don't have to add the times and the equal. So you learn it quicker and you recall it quicker. Three, fractions inherently define themselves in the Chinese language. You don't have to understand what fractions are because you already are explaining it by saying it. And number four, the big units are much more grand. Instead of going by million, instead of repeating every thousand, you go by ten thousands. Culture matters and languages are so powerful because they define how you think, how quick you think, and what you think about. And I will talk to you guys next time.